Welcome back, or welcome, to Fallout 76. And, um, carrying on from last time, I was over at checking out the White Spring Resort, and I learned that I can't find what I need to get into the bunker until I come way over here into a cave with some death claws to, uh, find an Enclave officer who, uh, has a key card to get into the bunker. But I still had that mission from the top of the world, which is on the way, the direction I need to go. So I thought I'd uh, kind of do something like this. Start heading out this way, exploring. I moved my camp over here uh, because I figured I was going to be spending some time over here. And before I head out, let's get some water going. I got rid of some of the stuff that I had. Like, uh, I had way too much Rad X and Rad Away for how much I was actually using it. So, uh, anyhow, there is a location right close by here. I did pick up one more location uh, that I didn't record. It's just the uh, White Spring train station right over there. Nothing real spectacular. Just a tr another train station with a, a vendor bot and stuff like that. But I don't know what this is. So let's go in here and check it out. Dated wall used to be a raider camp, obviously. Here, oh, frames! Oh, frames! What is this? Huh. What the heck is this? I don't know why that happens. I just randomly get hit, I'm not paying attention. I also, uh the hell? I leveled up since last time. I think I forgot to on the last episode, and I took the Strength Bandolier perk, which makes ballistic ammo, at least the first tier, makes ballistic ammo weigh 45% less. So that sounded good to me. I do plan on using energy weapons in the future, but I just haven't come across a lot and a lot of ammo for them. And I still need some more scrap to uh, fix up my rifle. Ah, uh, mole miners. Who thought? Alright. Blackwater mine. My shotgun was almost toast from last episode, dealing with all those ghouls. I would really like to get an explanation as to what the hell these things are supposed to be. I always forget about critical. Some lots of shotgun shells. I need to start taking some weapons and scrapping them too. Get some more mods. So, take those. My camp is real close, so I can go back to my camp after this. And or if I find a place to scrap them here, of course. Hard hat. Mining light. Mining helmet. Okay, no more picking up right away. These guys always have shotguns. If you ever want shotgun parts, you can always come to where these guys are at. He's got a combat shoddy. Scrap, maybe get some mods. Mine's still really basic. See what this is. Okay. I also got rid of that 50 machine gun I had because <laughs> the ammo is just hard. It's hard to come by 50, and I'm honestly it weighs so much, and I wasn't using it at the moment. By the time I plan on using it, I'm going to be out leveling it. So I'm trying to get more in the habit of being picky about what I actually keep 
Like, I only have three weapons now, and they're the weapons I'm carrying on me. And I got rid of all my other power armor chassis, <clears throat> because uh, there's no reason to have them. Three. <laughs> you can't store them individually. You gotta get out of that Fallout 4 habit of having one of everything. Mole Miner Gauntlet. Um, encumbered already, of course. Go up top there in a minute. I need this stuff though. Oh. Take that and scrap it. Don't need any more adhesive, honestly. I have so much back in my camp. It's ridiculous. Another thing I also learned is that uh, bulking your scrap does not uh, make it weight less. It just makes it so you can sell it to vendors. Which is okay, but I uh, never have enough spare to uh, be selling it, so it kind of seems pointless with the limited stash. I heard all sorts of people saying, including Peter Hines, the Bethesda guy, saying that they were going to up the uh, player stash when it released, probably, but they still haven't. I'm hoping they will. It doesn't need to be enormous, I understand why it's limited, but it needs to be more. You need to be able to keep things that you want to hold on to. Hold on, hold on. Just let him hit me for a sec. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I know. You're pissed off. Just. Ah. Tenacious bastard. Strengthen marine armor limbs. I knew there was marine combat armor, but. Oh right, and I got the... I can make a, a Fat Man mod. Fantastic. Need that stuff. Need that stuff. Looks like a good place to uh, come for scrap. Wonder if there's actually a mine or not. The last mine I went to at... Uh, the Monaga mine, there was no mine. It's blocked. Frames. It's always tempting <coughs> to take plasma grenades. But I don't use explosives too often. They just weigh you down. Clear. Check this one. There's the mine entrance. I really, really like the double barrel shotguns. Uh, oh, it's a level 25. You know what? <clears throat> I'd almost like to keep that, but. Because the combat shotgun just gets worn out so fast. But I think maybe I'll just scrap it. <clears throat> Get some mods. This one, how, how is that? Oh, did I scrap? Oh my god, I scrapped. <laughs> I scrapped mine. Oh my god. I scrapped the one I was using. Well, it looks like you could find some power armor here. Let's see if I got enough to fix this combat shotgun real quick. Because I trashed mine. Mine was level 20 also. Maybe even put something on it? Ooh, I can put a long barrel. <clears throat> God, excuse me. Awesome. Standard shot, treat short stock. All that does is up the accuracy. 
Really? Oh, hip fire accuracy. Well, I hip fire these most of the time. I don't know. I feel better having a long stock, honestly. Okay, well, got a little bit of a better shotgun out of it. I don't have a lot of shells, but cool. I always make more. I used so many shells when I was at White Spring. Got bum rushed by ghouls. Oh, did I forget to scrap my junk? No, I don't think I did. Something you got to uh, be doing constantly. like we can actually get into this one. No, oh, never mind. But oh, we can get into this one, okay. Cool. Or it looks like we can. Oh, hold on. I managed to get another cold. I just had one last week too. Great Gotta love it. Detection error. System is currently offline. Authorization denied until ventilation process is complete. Please return later. Uh. So I can't go in. No, I can go in. Hit the mic. Ah, uh, mines. Hopefully there's some workbenches in here. Last one I went into was full of, uh... Oh, I can't think. Mine is foggy. Sick. Um, scorched. It was full of scorched. That was back out by Flatwoods. I already got a minor hat. Box of shooting targets. Okay. Make the most of this place. Uh, what a way to die. High tech door. I think I've still got everything I need for everything marked for all the gear I'm using. There's a decon room. I need asbestos for something. I keep I found a decent amount of 556 and I still haven't found a weapon that uses it. I know that there's like a handmade rifle that's like an AK-47. Blackwater Mine, Orientation. Oh, whoops. I'll take This is Foreman Hibbs, United States Department of Energy. If you're hearing this, then welcome aboard and all that. I'm sure the human resources folks have got you situated, but there's one thing I need to make sure so you're gonna get it again. Blackwater Mine is a government uranium site. Oh. That means you're a federal employee now. And all those background checks and security interviews you went through wasn't just for fun. Every yield we fail to bring up is a national security problem. One less missile gets made. One less power plant gets fuel. Department of Energy isn't messing around. I'm not messing around. So stop listening to all this and get back to work. Let's dig up some shiny rocks and hope they don't make us sterile. What a cheery guy. 
Blackwater Bandits Terminal. Don't delete anything from here. Freddy. Freddy Lang's Logs. Lots of lore. Help. Not giving up. Getting harder to think straight. Skin glowing so sick. I tried. Feels be feels good to be down in the mine. Armor. Near the radiation. Just gonna sleep there. Wait for whatever. Easily <laughs> turning into a ghoul. Radiation leak. <laughs> That asshole. I told everyone, no messing with the machines down in the mine. We didn't know what they did, and the last thing we need is our new home collapsing. Guess what, though? Rob came clean after I threatened to neuter him. <laughs> he just had to get drunk and mess with the stupid machine. Wanna know what it does? It leaks radiation all over the place, apparently, and he's been tinkering with it in secret for months. He caused a massive leak, and now people are dying because of him. We got people who look like corpses still writhing around, but not responding. At least Rob's not moving anymore. Ooh. Trying to stay strong, trying not to, to not give up. People getting sick. Lots of people are getting real sick now. It's been a while and it's not going away. My hair's been falling out, skin's peeling, I can't eat. Wish I could find out who exposed us to this freaking plague so I could kill him myself. He told me never to give up, love. I won't. I'll get through this just like everything else. I'm going to do you proud. Oh, on cams. I don't know what it is, maybe just a bad flu or something, but we're all starting to ache and feel weak. We were using chems to offset the effects, but it's taking a long time to get over it without any doctors around, and we're almost out. The cutthroats still have a ton of chems, especially now that the diehards are bringing them all to the top of the world. I think they'd be willing to trade us a case of chems for, for the mini nukes we stole from those Brotherhood of Steel guys. I know I told you no more chems, but that was long. But that was long. Uh, but that was long ago, and the world's a different place, babe. I'm only taking what I need to get through the day with this illness. Good haul. Hit up a band of travelers coming through the mountains. Got a lot of good loot and supplies out of it. They said they were hauling goods to some survivors over the hills, so we should check out that settlement soon. One of them looked like you. I hesitated, just briefly. She pleaded for her life, started screaming. I had to do it, or she'd attract the others. Who knows what. Or who knows what. Maybe I shouldn't have. These mines are a good hideout. No one ever comes looking for us here anyway. In other news, I had to shoot Frank dead. He thought he could take a little off the top and keep it for himself. Now he's sharing his cash with everyone as a reminder to not get greedy. <laughs> Diehards, was it? Margie came down with some of her diehard losers to check out the new place. She said she wants to gather up everyone's key fragments to make some sort of backup copies in something in case something like something happens to one of them or some BS like that. If that. We all know you had a problem with boss man Thorpe, Margie. You're lucky we cut you in on the cash, but somehow you keep us all supplied with chem, so yeah. Still, we ain't gonna hand over all the keys so you can run off with all of our stuff. Nice try, but no way. So this uh, group was... A lot of these bandit groups seem to have been affiliated. Because this is the early days of bandits, so... I miss you. I miss you so much, Lucy. If only you knew what we ha we've had to become. Sometimes I wonder. Maybe it's for the best you checked out when you did, so you didn't have to see me this way. Then again, I'm real good at what I do. It's scary how naturally burglary comes to me and how tough I've become. I mean, I always had to be tough. You knew that. Growing up here, we did... Where, growing up where we did, people gave us shit for who we were. He usually took out, he took handing out a fat lip or black eye to make people respect me. Guess I've carried that into my new life. You'd be proud of that at least. I stood up, took charge. I'm leading. They actually like me. They know better than to come on to me and I don't have any, and I don't have to say nothing to no more. If you're watching somehow, just know that everything I do, I do to survive. Don't hate me. Last note, finally in. We finally cracked the password for this thing. It was pumpernickel, like the bread. The previous foreman's locker hadn't been cleaned out, and we found it written on a crumpled note inside, in note in there. Lucky find, huh? That stupid robot outside wasn't any help. The guys seemed to like him, though, so I guess we're keeping him around. Anyway, now it's my terminal, and as the leader of this ragtag group of bandits, I'm using it as my own log for whatever comes to mind. Ever since I lost her to the war, I've got no one to confide in. No one to trust with my thoughts. This is the closest thing I've got now. 
I swear if one of those a-holes ruins this for me, I'll send them packing with a bullet in the back of their head. Okay. Foreman's reports. Man, there's a lot of reading here. Uh, Alright, so now this is pre-war. Uranium yields have been way up. The boys have tweaked those extractor machines so that they're pulling stuff in, in or pulling the stuff in a in a head of raid faster than any of our any army of miners ever could. I'm sorry. I'm having trouble. I'm sick here. It's much safer too. This spells good news for us down there down here at our level. The profits way up, it's bound to come trickling down to us. Can't wait to see the new fleet of shiny core Vegas driving into work. Caught some of my crew lounging about on the job this morning. Benny was even sleeping. I hated to do it, but I had to write him up. The guy used to be a, such a powerhouse, but he says he finished all his hauls an hour into the job today. I get it that the machines practically run themselves and produce a lot less waste, but there's still plenty to do around here. They need constant supervision. There are buttons to press and meters to monitor. <clears throat> Incident report. Chet Bronston slipped and took a spill in Tunnel 3. He'll be laid up for a while, but frankly, I don't know if he'll be able to keep it with I, if we'll be able to keep him on staff. We have too much on payroll as it is. Orders came from on, from on high today. We had to let go about 30 of our guys today. It's just some of the it's just some of the chaff. These guys have been slacking off for a while now, so it's probably for the best. We'll be fine without them. This job could be done with a crew of a dozen if we needed to. I tell you, the marvels of modern engineering just make life easier. Called the crew together this morning to chat about next week's meeting with the big wigs. Everyone's to be on their best behavior, and we're going to whip this operation into shape big time before their arrival. This mine's going to shine. Some of these guys are under understandably worried after the layoffs, but I assured, them, I assured them that their jobs are not in danger. We're going to show the suits how a tight crew can manage in concert with the state-of-the-art technology to be the highest yield uranium mine in the country, if not the entire world. Screw this. I moved all the way out to West Virginia for this job. I was perfectly happy in Pittsburgh. I've been here hardly a year and a half, and they replaced me with that bucket of bolts. They said it was cheaper. This kind of thing's happening all over the... All over this region, apparently. Like anyone's gonna take orders from a robot. I should have seen this coming when they offered me what they did. And then when I get here, I find out they're building the whole thing to basically run itself. What a crock. I told them I'd wipe this terminal, but I'm leaving my reports here as a lesson to the next guy they hire when that stupid robot can't hack it. Production reports cannot access. Well, that was a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of information on that terminal. I had to stop a few times to get a drink. Okay, let's carry on. This is just into the decon, which is yep. Okay, a little hangout spot here. I'm getting a lot of scrap, but I am. <clears throat> I'm really gonna have to, uh, and a workbench. A lot of this is heavy scrap. Safe. Oh, put my pop filter. Ooh, another fusion core. Oh my god. A Gatling laser, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, I can use it for a little while, just to see what it's like. I'd kind of like to repair it first. I don't know if I should keep that. <clears throat> it's awesome. Oh wow. I'll be leveled out of it in no time, though. <clears throat> and it does use fusion cores, but I have fusion cores last a decent amount of time on this game. I have a lot of them. They last longer than they did on 4, that's for sure, and it doesn't use them up when you sprint, as far as I can tell. So, we'll use it for a little while here. Oh, hello. Crap. Not much damage. But it is pretty cool. Yeah, 
really high rate of fire, as you'd imagine. Using it on rats, apparently. Not sure how much I'm going to be using this. This is one of those kind of things that I think I'd be better off using at a really high level, like end game status. So I'm probably not going to keep this gun as much as I'd like to. It's just more weight. <clears throat> but maybe I can get some mods out of it. Why are these guys dead? Um, it's like I can cross here. Let's see what this side trap is. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, it does away with these guys pretty good. Curious what the mole miner gauntlet is. Where'd the ash pile go? Oh. Oh, well, there you are. <clears throat> go up. More. I should, probably should stop reloading this constantly. Kill creatures. Wow, how descriptive. I'm trying to save my atom points for uh, some of the com or the power armor paints they have. Cells are five five six. hell is this guy? Up again? Oh. My cats just know when I'm recording. Like to interrupt me. Wanting out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Okay, I'm gonna stop using this gun, honestly. It's just gonna eat my cores. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a bunch of uh, shotgun mods out of all this. Oops, no. this guy hello where the hell are you oh hello there headshots seem to work pretty well There's a workbench down here somewhere. Need any grenades? There's a workbench. What the hell are you doing in there? How did you even get in there? Holy shit. He's, oh. I thought he killed himself for a minute. Can't loot him. Oh, I can just pick this. I don't need to hack that terminal. Sticky tar. 
Water systems monitoring. Monitoring. Um, one offline since 2022. 2022. Everything well. Overflowing light pooling uninhabitable. Oh. Likely to develop can to develop cancerous organs. Great. That's what I wanted. Uh, it's just an armor bench. Oh, plan. Cool. Get rid of all my junk here. A lot of junk. Um, and let's get rid of some of these. Careful not to scrap the one I'm using this time. Much as I'd hate to, bye bye Gavin Laser. Did I pick up anything in here? No, okay. Got some plans. Cool. Got a bunch of mods. Alright. Way that way. Over here. I feel like I'm gonna get lost in this place. Is this okay? This is that area up. Another combat shotgun. My god. Really liked their shotguns down here. overlooking that way. Let's go back and head that way. Stop by the workbench. Get rid of scrap again. <laughs> I've noticed that even if the weapons don't have mods on them, you seem to get mod plans. I didn't realize. That's uh, interesting. Let's see what's at the end of the rainbow. Definitely a good place to come for metal scrap with the. So, oh, is that a weapon? Oh, it is. Need any more 38 ammo? Scrap. Let's open this door here. Uh huh. Okay. Let's deal with this stuff real quick. First of all, repair. And automatic? No way. Eh. Stabilized long barrel. True long barrel. That sounds good. Standard shot stock. I can put a reflex sight on it. Cool. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. Um, also, while we're here. No. Uh, okay, that's all good. Do anything with that? All right. <sighs> this mine turned out to be a lot more <clears throat> complex than I thought it was going to be. Huge. Another huge room, my god.
Almost everything down here has a component I need. I could find a tinker bench, that would be ideal. I could get some more shotgun ammo. I hope there's one. Or five, five, six. This place is enormous. Try and try and go everywhere. <clears throat> Didn't check down there yet. Trying to remember that. Everything, everywhere I look, there's something I need. That. This looks like the end of another shotgun. Holy cow! I don't know where that goes. Let's leave that be for the moment. And we are encumbered. Always. It's encumbered. The hell, another hole in the wall. Okay, let's check down here real quick. Another hole in the wall. Another. What the hell is going on down here? Uranium extractor terminal. Messages. Hold on. Let's read the messages first. Safety first. Remember, just because we have those fancy new machines to extract uranium for us doesn't mean you can slack on safety precautions. These machines are still in early designs, and I've been told they tend to leak radiation as part of the extraction process. Always wear your radiation suits while working in their vicinity. Notify your supervisor immediately if you experience any of the following symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, vomiting diarrhea, fever, hair loss, abnormal, non-work-related fatigue, non fatigue. Sloughing off of the skin. Goodbye. It was great working with some of you. Others, like Mitch, can suck it. We got this little brown noser here sucking up to Uncle Sam. Not surprising he gets to stay, and those of us doing the actual work get the boot. I told those told you those machines would cost us our jobs. <clears throat> For everyone who can make it tonight, drinks at Hannigan's in Charleston are on me. Oh yeah, just in case it wasn't clear to you, Mitch, you're not invited. You can suck it. <laughs> Vinny. <clears throat> Recent reorganization. If you're getting this message, you are not affected by the reorganization. <clears throat> Layoffs are never ideal, but sometimes necessary in order to streamline our process. Contrary to popular belief, this wasn't my decision to make. I want to thank everyone for their hard work, and I want to let you know that our yields are way up. I don't foresee any further layoffs. Oops. Wrong one. Important notice. Glenn Combs is no longer employed around here. Report to a supervisor immediately if you see him on the premises. As a friendly reminder, anyone found tampering with the uranium extractors in an attempt to sabotage their operation will be immediately terminated and escorted off the site. Those machines are expensive government-owned equipment, so you may be charged with federal felony. Auto foreman. Mitchell Hibbs is no longer the supervising foreman of the Blackwater Mine site. All remaining... Employees are to check in with a new auto foreman unit posted at the mine entrance before clocking in for the day and before leaving for the night. Employees are expected to follow a direction from the auto foreman as they would any follow any human foreman. Keep in mind the auto foreman is not designed to report any workplace infractions to the proper authority. Nice. Operating instructions. Um Just uh information about the thing. I can read this. Let's see if this works. Oh, dang. <laughs> what a shame. I wanted to I wanted some uranium. Come on now. Alright. Let's go see where this side path leads and go see where the other one leads. Dead end. No surprise. This Okay. In here. This is probably a dead end, also. Yep. 
Must have been the mole miners doing that. Eh. Alright, uh, let's go back because we still hadn't gone that one direction. Oh, wait a minute. Another dead end. Interesting. Not really interesting, it's just, I wonder who the hell did all that. Oh yeah, I gotta keep an eye on that. To go. All right, here we go again. Let's see here. Oh, right, I forgot to scrap that. Uh, scrap. Align stock. <clears throat> oh, I need more gunsmith. That's something I really need to rank up. So, I'm just curious whether I should get that. It is better hip fire accuracy. It has absolutely no... Yeah, let's get that. It doesn't have any negative benefits other than, I think, a little less condition. So... I tend to hit fire the shotgun a lot. Alright. Further down the rabbit hole. Oh. Let's try to get that headshot in. Another one. More stuff. I, I really hate to be doing too much back and forth, but... Oh, hello. What the hell are you doing back there? But, it's right here, so I'm just gonna come over and scrap this. Before we go any further. Right here. Calibrate a receiver. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Why not? Some of these I'm not going to be able to do yet. But... Oh, let's repair that guy. This ups the accuracy. Superior critical shot. Alright. Do it. realize I've been recording well I guess I did AFK for a few but I've been recording almost 50 minutes in here no idea this was gonna be so big this might be where our journey ends I uh, I don't know about this <sighs> should we go in Probably not. Maybe there's something worthwhile at the end of the rabbit hole, though. Probably how I get it out right there. Well, if you're claustrophobic, I'm sure you hate this. Okay, let's just make sure this is blocked. Okay, that's the end. Just what I'd love to be doing in real life is creeping around a... flooded mine. Alas... Tell me there was something worth that in here. Nothing. But he's 
bedroom. Oh, there's there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, another combat rifle. Is it actually decent level? No, shame. It's only a few levels. Well, I guess I'm 28. I keep forgetting that I'm a high of a level. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a way out. Okay. Secondary exit. Well, I'll take it. Since uh, this was it, <clears throat> we've officially seen everything in here and read everything in here. But what's back here? <laughs> Not dead end. All right. Before I leave, I'm just going to get a picture. Okay, enough of that. Let's see where this exit leads. Huh, see the green briar. Uh, <clears throat> right next to a location I didn't have. Huh. Oh, wow, way over here. Well, <clears throat> since we're right here, we might as well get this marker. Just a substation. That was quite the, uh, quite the dungeon crawl. Let's see anything too interesting right there. Manga Power Substation MZ-02. Oh god. Or ghouls. Of course. Whoa. Almost froze. Never really much at these places. Huh. Uh, reavers. Or am reavers. Okay, there are two. Ooh. Powerful. Anything but junk? Plan track lighting. Okay. Was worth coming over here. Um. I can't open it. Well. Okay. Well. Looks like that's just about it. <clears throat> My camp is just uh, right over next to this thing. So I'll just cut this one, and um, next time we'll continue. I got way sidetracked. We'll continue heading out towards this, but we'll probably stop at like here or here first. <clears throat> Anyhow, I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.